Eddie soldiers. So a couple of weeks ago I did a video called Thoughts on Being Alone where I talked about how I enjoy solitary activities and don't constantly feel like I need to have people around me to be okay with myself and feel happy. And I decided to make this video as like an honorary part two or continuation of that last one. The thing that inspired me to make this its own separate video is because a couple days ago there was a woman coming into the bookstore who was buying a book called Quiet by Susan Cain and it's a book about introverts and how introverts deal with society and how society views them and she was buying it so that she could better understand her son who was very introverted himself. She was in line and I said, oh, as an introvert myself, I really enjoyed this book. I think you're gonna like it a lot. And she said to me like, oh, you're one of them too? Like, oh, I, I never would have guessed one of them. Like some religious fanatic or like alien in a human skin suit or like rare sponge from the bottom of the sea. Like, oh. And why, yes, I am one of them. I think the reason she said that is because society, when you say, say introvert, thinks of very stoic, very quiet, very like not gonna say anything to you kind of person. And I was chatting with her and I was chatting with my coworkers and just like joking around. So obviously that means I can't be an introvert because I'm talking to people. And I've gotten that a lot where people don't really understand what an introvert is or what we deal with on a daily basis. So I wanted to make this video of things introverts think that you should know. The first thing I want to mention is relating to what this woman was saying to me, and that is that introverts are not always stoic and stone-faced. Like, we have different personalities when we are out in public. At work, I obviously have to talk to people and give recommendations and, you know, interact with humanity on a daily basis, so I can't really afford to be quiet and not say anything. Similarly, when it comes to friends, introverts prefer small groups of people that we already know. Like, if you bring us to some banging party, you can bet that we are going to be that person in the corner nursing a solo cup and not talking to anybody because new people are scary. They make us nervous. I'm sure more than one person has gotten the like, oh, I thought you were so quiet until like we became friends and like, you're crazy. I will bet you money dollars that that was an introvert. Also, we may be quiet, oh, but we are always listening. We might be the quiet friend on the outskirts of the group or whatever because it's a large group and we're not comfortable, but that doesn't matter because we are listening to the entire conversation. We're trying to judge when we can put in our own input. We're trying to judge who each person is. So even that thing that you think I didn't know, oh, I know it. Also, if we're being introduced to new people, we may take a while to warm up to you. I'm not trying to be rude when I just don't want to talk to you or I'm coming off as shy. I just don't know you yet and you kind of are a little bit scary. If you are meeting someone that you think is an introvert, like introduce yourselves, but then leave us alone. Like, let us come to you. We're just like cats. And like I mentioned in my thoughts on being alone video, we are totally comfortable being silent. We don't mind being in silence. I know some people have the urge to constantly fill silence because it makes them feel awkward, but we don't. We're totally comfortable just being in complete silence either with ourselves or with other people. The next thing, I'm not sure if it's just me or other introverts, so let me know down below because I know most of you that watch my channel are in fact introverts. I am terrible with spontaneity. Like, I need to know what is going on and what is going down at least 24 hours in advance so that I can prepare myself mentally and physically for what's about to go down. We have a preconceived itinerary on how our day or week is gonna go and if something just really at the last minute gets thrown in there, it just throws off everything. Like, how do you do that, spontaneous people? How are you like, hey, you know what? Let's have a board game run at my house tonight at like 11 p.m. Hey. I know. Why don't we go snowboarding tomorrow? Huh? How do- how? Just how do you do that? How do you have the skills and the planning and the openness to just suddenly drop everything and leave? I just- I don't understand. I don't think I ever will. Next, we are often very proud of our work, but we don't want recognition or praise for it. It makes us feel super awkward and shy. So like when people give us compliments on stuff, we just automatically turn into like a turtle going back into its shell. And we're like, what? No, it's not how I feel. Like, oh, I don't know. I don't know how to respond. It was always super stressful when the teacher would read stories out in class and then she gets to the end and be like, oh, this is so-and-so's and you just want to melt into the corner. Lastly, introverts can be pretty weird in public. And I mean, like, come on, we're all pretty crazy anyway. But it's because when we're in public, we have this little bubble of personal space around us and we are often in our own thoughts or thinking about something. Your bubble bursts and then you're not prepared for this onslaught of new information and stimuli and that's why we're often like, ah, and just hide and run away. I myself have found that my new coping mechanism is just to yell at something until it goes away. I don't know when this started, but if something scares me or like something falls over near me or whatever, I'm just like, ah, then just back away. It might sound crazy, but I found it to be super effective. So other people of society that like going out and like being around people and like having a whole bunch of stuff happening in your life, please try, just try and 
understand what we're feeling when we're out unprotected in the outside world. If you yourself are an introvert, I hope that you can relate with this video. And if you are not an introvert, if you're an ambivert or an extrovert or whatever other kind of verts there are, please understand that I just want you to understand me, okay? I don't, it's not like I can't ever be friends with you or something like that. I just want you to know that's what my mental process is doing. So please don't get angry with me. And I know there's this big thing about like, oh, you can change and you can do whatever. And I myself have done that. I used to be ridiculously shy as a kid. And now I'm confident enough in myself that I can walk up to someone on the street and be like, hey, wow, I really like your dress. Or I can go to work and be like, oh, that's a great book. We should talk about it. And I'm not so scared anymore. But at the same time, I don't think there's anything wrong with not talking to people and being an introvert. And a lot of people make it sound like, oh, introvertedness is so bad, it's this thing you have to get over and the face in life, but you don't really have to. I have finally switched out my signature tea for water because it got bloody hot in Vancouver out of nowhere. I really have no idea what. Someone made some sacrifice to a heathen god and then this is what happened. Thank you to all of my 700 and some odd subscribers. That is amazing. Thank you to my soldiers, part of my ginger army, and thank you to everyone who has shared. It's just, it's amazing. I can't believe I have this many people that think I'm interesting. Like, this is really, really cool. Hope you guys are having a nice day wherever you are, and I will see you all next week. Bye!